Welcome to the Chop Team. I'm your host, Seth the Dark Child. I'm your host, Twin Zinc. Our show is about two guys and any friends that happen to come over with a topic that we want to chop up. This is our barbershop style podcast. We discuss it all. If the fellas at the shop will go in on it, we will. Let's chop it up. We back, we back, we back. Microphone Yo, check. Seth the Dark Child, how you doing, my brother? I'm doing good. Am I coming through clear? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Right now, I'm about, I'm about to check online and make sure that on YouTube, because we are live on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, just go to YouTube and type in the Chop Team. Just want to make sure that we're coming in clear. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah, we're good. Damn, microphone check. I just dropped the big button to smile. Microphone check. Did I get the court? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Just let's work on that. Make sure we're not too loud in people's ear. All right, all right. Now, now you sound a little bit muffled on your end, as far as if the microphone is almost in your mouth. So, now, is this better? Or do I need to change my my microphone? Just keep talking. Yeah. So, all right, so let me know if I'm coming in clear and speaking loud without trying to yell. But I do have another microphone option if that becomes a necessity. Okay, any better? Is this better? Yeah, I would say change it because it sounds, like I said, it sounds like as if, as if we're, like, all in your mouth. <laughs> gotcha. One moment. Yep, you're good. Yeah, so... All right, one second. Yeah, no problem. And ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime, this is the Chop Team once again. We just getting the audio stuff sound together. Hello, testing one, two, three, four. Is this uh, better? Well, let's give it a moment here. It's going on because it's a little delayed here on my end. So I want to make sure that it's coming in clear. Hold on. All right. All right, I'm about to win. Went and got the second microphone. That should be coming through hopefully clearer. All right, we're good. You coming to clear? We're good. All right, then. Well, let's let's get it cooking. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you to the chop team. Once again, I'm your yes, host, sir. Twin Zinc, with host Seth, Seth the, dark the Dark Child. Child. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I know we still work on these technical issue things. I mean, this is how it is. We got to build it as we fly. Small business. You know, we're growing. But, you know, we don't have a whole staff of IT and camera people and all the people behind the scenes. This is us doing everything on the fly. But we're going to get it all together, okay? Just bear with us. But as of today... <laughs> You see the topic we're gonna chop we're gonna chop up today. Get it? Chop up the chop team. No pun intended. Hey. Ladies. Not ladies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, this ain't about the ladies. Fellas, you can relate to this, fellas. We can relate to this, fellas. Why can't us men be happy? And you know, I, you see the parentheses passports, because I just let you know where we're going with this topic. AKA Passport Bros. Seth the Dark Child, you got your passport, sir? Uh, absolutely. I think it's a necessity at this point. Any man that makes more than $25 an hour should have one. I can't say I disagree with him. I need to lower that number $22 an hour, but, you know. If you can spend a thousand dollars in Vegas, you can. You need a passport. Okay, all right. So, Seth Darchell, the listeners are probably thinking like, so what? It, where are they going with this? Can they elaborate on more? Can you kind of give the people kind of like a monologue or kind of let them know where we're going with this or what exactly we the sure. point that we're trying to get out of this conversation today? Well, the point. 
the, the question that we're asking, and this is this is only to the soul. This is this is only to hey God. Can we be happy? Why why does it seem like anything that we do that makes us happy comes under under attack in this country? Right? Um the reason I wanted to touch base on this particular topic was there was a um, there was a show on Fox News a couple a couple of days ago I saw the a clip of it where there was a there was a black male um, host and he had two women of African American descent <laughs> um, on the panel on the panel with them and they were discussing passport books and while he was trying to you know. Hold on, hold on, quote unquote. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right there, Seth the Dark Child. Before we get, before we go farther in this, can you uh, explain to some people what this passport bros are? Because me, and you may know it, right? But there could be some new listeners on the first time listening to the Jot Team, and they're talking about what in the world is passport bros. Like they know what passport is, but they didn't understand the whole concept of the passport bro. Can you break that down before you get into it? Uh, you know, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. I don't know and mind I, you, this ain't you know, the Webster or Wikipedia or Google search definition. This is just a the the kind of unspoken word that we men do understand when we say passport bros. But go ahead, Seth the Dark Child. Well, you know what? I actually would argue with that for one second. Since the internet, I'm gonna go to. I am going to go to the Urban Dictionary. Okay, passport bros. First definition. Men who understand that Western women have drunk the Kool-Aid and passed the point of no return, they have gotten their passports to enjoy happiness and peace with fit, friendly foreign women. Right? And, oh, wow, this is wild. Okay, let me read this. This is funny. Say this in, I'm, I'm going to try to say this in the words of a pastor. And the Lord said, wow. God bless the passport bros, mm. for they have avoided the wickedest American women and achieved nirvana with feminine foreign women, restoring the natural balance between feminine and masculine and breeding out slash leaving in the dust by wicked Western women. By J. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> okay. So, I just read that directly from the Urban Dictionary. So ba- basically, Passport Bros has evolved to the point that even though it includes black guys, white guys, whoever, you American guys, um, it has evolved to the point where we're strictly talking about African American men who have decided that dating in in America is no longer no longer a valid path of happiness for, for American men. If we want to be happy, we will have to find women that don't live in the USA. Mm. That's, that, that, that's where the big thing is. That, that's what it means? In a, in a nutshell? We, we've decided we can't be happy with American women. They will not make us happy. So while it includes, like I say, they're white, I mean, our lighter skinned brethren <laughs> have been doing it for years. They didn't get on the internet and advertise it the way that we've done it. So that black people always got to be a little bit louder and more more out out on the edge than our lighter skinned brethren. Right? Okay. But at the same token, the the facts are that it's just not safe. My opinion. My opinion. Um, it's just not safe to date in America. It's just not. You. There was a study done of three hundred thousand. Well, multiple reasons. First reason, child support and and paternity of your children, right? There was a study done of three hundred thousand court cases. Out of those three hundred thousand. 100,000, or basically 33.3% of the tests came back that the male was not the father of the child in question. Oh, wow. That's one, out, that's one out of three. 
that that was just a study done. That wasn't uh, that's not fully comprehensive. But one in three men in America who actually had a court mandated DNA test wasn't the father. One in three. That's that's too high. I don't you don't know if any child you can have three children in your house sitting at your table at night and one of those kids might not be yours. Wow. Okay. You know, uh, and you thinking that, but whatever, you know. So okay. that's that's just one reason. Okay. Why we why we gave up. The second we, reason we might have get, given up is because it's you know it's tough to date an American woman. It's tough to date a woman. It's tough to be in a relationship with somebody who you can't come to a conclusion with or a, or a consensus with on a regular basis. You know why do you you have to argue all the time about being with somebody. When I get off work, when I get off, when I get done doing whatever I have to do to make sure I have money in my pocket. When I want to spend time with somebody, what I don't want to do is argue, fuss, fight, complain. Whether she's my girlfriend or my wife, I don't. I just want to have a good time with you. I save all that other stress for people who pay me. If I can't get that here with you, get your passport, go somewhere else where you don't have to put up with that same fight, right? You know. Second part, it's my money, and I want to travel. I want to see the world. And it's actually cheaper, brother, you're married, right? So let's just put this on the table. How much, how much it, let's say you and you wanted to take your quote unquote wife and family or your girlfriend on a trip to Brazil. How much you think it'll cost? Just guesstimation. Well, I have a family of four. Mm -hmm. Spricker and the grandma, so that would be five, right? So if I want to take mm -hmm. a whole family... Wait, wait, wait. The grandmama. Who's the grandmother? Uh, the, the wife's grandma. The, the wife's so mom. So she's your grandma. Okay, keep going. Right. So you figure, if I want to take a family trip to... Um, what do you say? What's the destination again? Uh, Brazil. Brazil, okay. Puerto yeah. Rico. It doesn't, it doesn't okay. matter. Right. And how a three day weekend or a week? What, what, what are we talking about? Hey man, let's go for a real vacation. Let's let's go for um four days, three nights. You're leaving on Thursday, oh, you'll be back Sunday. Man, listen, just for that four or five day trip with a whole family mm -hmm. like that, I'm looking to spend almost five five K minimum. Minimal. Minimal. Now if you if you were going by yourself, how much would you spend? Uh maybe maybe twelve maybe, you know, between okay. twelve to fifteen. Honey, but myself, and, yeah, and, and even and maybe even two. If you took your maybe two pushing maybe two. it, and even if you went if you went with your girl though, how much would it cost? Oh, just your girl, just me. Just, yeah, just me. Uh, we, we, I'm still talking. I'm probably twenty five to three grand. Okay, twenty five to three grand. So if you if you go by yourself, it's one thing. It's double if you take somebody else. Yes. Now, yes. But if you go by yourself. And you meet somebody there, you still not gonna spend an additional fifteen hundred dollars on it. Additional? No. Yeah, I mean, if you meet, you you might spend a couple hundred, but it yeah. won't cost. So if I take, I'm a passport. I'm a guy in America with a passport. If I take my girl with me, it costs three thousand dollars. If I take my, go by myself, it's fifteen hundred, and then I spend an additional three or four hundred in that country on a girl for. Those couple of days, I still spent two thousand dollars to have the exact same amount of fun <laughs> with that girl over there than this woman over here. It's it's cheaper. Passport bros, it's, it's cheaper. Yeah, because you know? when you think about it, when you go to a location like that, wherever you know, mm -hmm. our money, our money is has more value or, or not. Well, I guess it has more value over there, anywhere. Anywhere outside the United States, a dollar bill is more mm -hmm. somewhere else versus a $1 yeah. here ain't worth nothing, right? <laughs> exactly. So you like know, you said, I can I mean, go there by myself as a guy and have a, and have a great time with someone I that I didn't fly with me there, 
and have more money to spend there and to enjoy my weekend, right? And we, and at the end of the weekend, you left her there. No fuss, no muck, no argument, no complaining. You had a great time, and then you left. You left her there. And you came back to here to live your life. Peaceful. It's more peaceful, right? That's my opinion. I mean, and that's yeah. just a handful. Yeah, that's just a handful of the reasons that you sh- that passport bros is a nice thing. We, it's our happiness, right? Now, I, I don't want to sit here. I don't have. To, I don't want to sit here and go through a whole line of of reasons why. Um, it's not why we shouldn't use our passport, and you know why I don't want to do that, bro. Why is that? Because it's a lot of people, specifically women of African American descent, that have already done it for me. <laughs> so, but yeah, that here, here's some of the. I, I just want to say this is a couple of the list of reasons why they don't want us to be happy, why they don't want us to get our passport. Okay, well, what's that? This is this is in no order. This is just a list that I compiled off the internet. Oh, it took me. I you I went through three different articles and got these questions. Right? First, once again, no order, just here. First. The passport bros, meaning African American men. Okay. Are weak African American men that don't weak? know how to weak. W E A K. Oh. Okay, I think sure I heard right. My apologies. Go ahead. Yeah, weak, not 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 strong. Not str- okay. The opposite of strong, weak. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that don't know how to handle strong African American women. Mm. Um, you you have an opinion about that? If not, I'll be. You know, I like talking. I keep. I will. Well, bro. African American men are too weak to handle strong black women. I say to that, I think I'm good. I'm too. I'm not going to argue with you about why I want to go be happy. So, if it makes you feel good to think that I can't handle you, does that allow you to sleep at night? Does that allow you to not change, stay the person you are? continue being disagreeable and horrible to whoever comes in your path. If that's what it takes for you to leave me alone and let me live my life and be happy, I say, you're right. I'm not strong enough for what you dishing out. Nope. Can't do it. Um, nah. Not gonna do it. So, you're right. I don't know how to handle you. I don't want to handle you. I'm used to handling dangerous materials like like bombs and rabbit dogs. I'm not used to handling something I'm supposed to love and take care of. So you're right. I'm not strong enough to handle whatever you dishing out. I used all that strength up in my younger years, and I no longer have it. That makes sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And also, I mean, <laughs> why does someone want to be with, like, that statement that people say, oh, you just can't handle mm-hmm. me. I don't want to handle mm-hmm. you. Like not in that type of sense of handle, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we talk about handle. We want to handle you in the bedroom. That's the only type of handle we want to deal with you. If I got to handle exactly. you based on the way you talk and the way you take care of yourself and try to, no, I'm not. No, I don't want to control you. That's why, I, like, I have kids. If I need to control somebody or something, you know, if I'm a, mm-hmm. if I if I work for a company, I have people under me that I kind of control. I don't plan to be with somebody that I'm intimate with and want to be able to control them. That's not, or ha- handle them. That's not, that's not something that I want to sign up for. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, listen, I'm listen. If I had, this is, I'm, I'm just going to put, create a few examples. If I had a car that wouldn't run the way I wanted it to run, what would I do with that car? You would either trade it, yeah. fix it. Yeah. Or get a new one. It, it, it's useless to me as it is. I can't deal with it. If I had, if I had a dog 
that would not do what I needed it to do. If he barked all night, if he tore up my shoes, if he messed on the carpet, he just, I could not get the dog to do what I wanted to do. I couldn't handle that dog. What would I do with that dog? Put him down. Get rid of him. Exactly. It, it doesn't, if you, if I, if that dog creates a situation where I can't handle it, it has to leave my presence. If I have a house that I just can't handle the maintenance and upkeep on, what I what am I going to have to do with the house? Sell it or sell rent it. it out to someone else. Because I can't handle it. I can't deal with it. So, yeah, I'm not. You can call it what you want. I know I'm making adult decisions for myself as a man. Right. Right. But if you can say it's weak. I'm just saying, why should I have? Why should I handle something that gives me stress that doesn't pay me money? I handle my job because my job pays me. I handle my responsibilities because they are my responsibilities to handle. Mm. You, late, you, my, my, my lovely lady, you used to be one of my responsibilities, right? But now you are independent. I can't handle, I can't manage an independent person as if they are my responsibility because if it's my responsibility, I need it to do what I want it to do. And if you're not going to do that, then you're no more useful to me than a bad dog. So that's my thought on that subject. Right? Yeah. Moving on. The <laughs> second thing I... The, I mean, I don't, was that negative or anything? No, not so really, no. I mean, we're still saying this is why we get our passport. Because why would you want to handle something that shouldn't, doesn't mean can't, shouldn't need to be handled? I can, I don't, when I was married, for the majority of my marriage, I didn't handle my wife. We worked together. Towards the end of my marriage, yeah, I lost the ability to mm-hmm. handle it. <laughs> In which case it ended. It is what it is. Ah, no sweat to me because I'm trying to be happy. Second thing, right? Some of our lovely ladies, brothers, y'all need to hear this. Some of our lovely ladies believe that the passport bro's true intentions are to have sex with foreign women. You want to you wanna voice your opinion on that before I go off on my tangent? No, no, no. I'm gonna add to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add to what you're gonna say, but no, I don't have nothing. To continue. Well, some some women believe that we are just going to have relations with foreign women. I I say to that, nope. If possible, yes. I I'm not going. I'm going to enjoy the sun. I'm gonna enjoy the sand. I'm gonna enjoy the nightlife. I'm gonna enjoy the beach. I'm enjoy her company, and if I can be intimate with her, yes, I, I mean, will. Um, <laughs> not pass. Huh? I mean, but that's but I mean, that's no different to me going outside every day, right? Me going I, I was wondering that. There's no different me going outside, going to work, going to lunch, going to brunch, seeing a beautiful lady. Uh, because the tracks, you know, yes, that's no difference. That's, nice. it, it, there's I, literally I, no different. I mean, I, ladies and gentlemen, one thing we like to be, one thing we like to talk about here on the Chop Team is, is real men thoughts, and not not, not even real men because not, not, I'm not gonna say real men. This men period, the way that we think, the way we operate, the way we move, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if, if a guy is really gonna be honest with you, really honest with you, yes. Now, we do try to reserve ourselves not to come off as dogs and you know what I'm saying because we got to play this game with you. That's why if if play that again. we have to play this so game play with you. Last yeah, we got play we have, the game. We have to That's play the game. We have to play the game to charm you and take you out to eat and XYZ make you look, you know, all the other things you want to hear before I can get the goods, right? Even though there's someone mm-hmm. else Troy who gets the goods by doing nothing just, just showing up. But it's not about that right now. The point that I'm trying to make is that I don't care if I'm going to Mexico, to Brazil, mm-hmm. Strokers, in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. the same concept. If the man has the opportunity to consensually get some, oh, he's going to want it. He's going to take it. 
And he, you see what I said? I said consensually. It has to be consensual. We, yes. We, we, don't, we not ever, ever, let me say this, ever, 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 ever advocating anything other than consensual. Yes. We don't do that. We don't advocate it. We don't like it. We don't bring that to our table. Right. right. Keep going. Right. So once again, to to be shaming somebody because they want to go international and meet somebody and, and maybe, you know, have a, have a good weekend visit, whatever, that's totally up to them. Right. Yep. We can do that. Mm-hmm. And guys, mind exactly. you, most men, we work hard so we can do that. So we can spend That's money. On, 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 we spend the money that we want to do. You know, mm-hmm. is the bills paid? When I come back to my house, am I getting? And mind you, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. When we come back home, yep. are these are these You're passport bro guys? Are they homeless? Are these passport bros oh. living with a mom and dad in a basement somewhere? No, these are grown right. men. Hey, you know what? Go ahead. They, they might be because who are you to tell me where to spend my money at? I mean, that's I said, true too, though, right? I mean, so, I mean, you have a point. I mean, it's not really, I'm not, I'm not really taking a shot at the man, but I'm trying to tell you, but if a guy wants to get a passport and travel the world and meet beautiful women, maybe marry someone, or he's, that's mm-hmm. his prerogative. Bobby Brown. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 it's, his, it's his pursuit of happiness. See, that's the point. I got nothing on that part. I mean, when I, I asked this question years and years ago that what, what are men in relationships for? See, men and women are in relationships. Number one. Yeah. No, but no. Men are in a relationship. Number one. I, I didn't say friendship, but in a relationship with a woman. We are in that relationship with a woman primarily for sexual access. Everything else is secondary because I got friends. <laughs> I got I got people I can hang out with and drink beers with that I'm consider myself in a relationship with, right? Right. If I'm in a relationship with you, I am in a relationship with you for sexual access. And then there are other things that are like number one is that. And then you got lesser stuff. Women are in the same relationship for men. So it doesn't matter if I'm if I meet you at Starbucks for a coffee. I still want to have intimacy with you. That's, otherwise, why did I even meet you? You can't shoot pool. You can't take me on the tw- on the basketball court. You don't, we not going out. With sh- we not going fishing. Me and you are here to do something specific, and that's exactly what I want. So why can't I just do that in Brazil or Costa Rica? I, I don't even understand that. But number three. <laughs> um, the passport bro- bros are not searching for love. I don't even understand that. Um, I don't. I'm, I wasn't searching for love when I met my ex-wife. I wasn't searching for love when I met any of my ex-girlfriends. Love grew out of our interaction, but I had never walked out my house once, once ever looking for somebody to love. I don't know about other people, but okay, I'm good with that too. They not I'm not searching for love. All right. What do you think? No. Love is something that okay. takes maybe time <laughs> per se. But I'm not mm-hmm. I'm not falling in love with the first woman I see talk to become intimate with right because then i get to know you once you know what i'm saying but exactly and but wouldn't that process be the same anywhere whether i met you in once again whether i met you in downtown columbia or downtown atlanta don't wouldn't love grow from our interaction you know what I, I, i like that right there i like where you're going with that it makes sense because Let's let's say it. You know these passport bro guys. They're going international. These fine ladies. They're having a good time, right? But mm-hmm. how many of them have you heard they're getting married on the first time they visit? Is that, thank you. This, I mean, I, I said well, first. I, I said first time visit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's be very clear. I'm, I'm very I'm being very detailed. What I'm saying, the first time they go there, how how soon they come back home with a wife the same trip? 
None. Because None. they, because as men, we understand. I'm not the only Tom, Dick, and Harry that she may know. I'm not the only guy that's flying from America to come here and she's swooing mm-hmm. and, and, and giving him the moves and start. We know how the game goes, just like we know how the game goes here in the United States, right? Yeah, we, we accept the game. We, we accept, just, right. Once again, it's what I say earlier, the game that we all must play. Exactly. We, we Personally, we just tired of being cheated. Like, if I, I'm going to be honest with you, this is, and I, this is not got to the money part of the question because there is one later on about money and stuff. But let's be 1,000, right? If I find a woman here that I love, that I want to be with, that I want to build a house with, a uh, family with, right? Right. Well, I have to pay for the date. I have to... I have to pay for the hotel room if we go to a hotel or, you know, if we don't go to each other's house. I got to buy the food. I got to pay for the entertainment. I got to buy the hotel, pay for the hotel. Um, I have to go through all the effort to date you. And in America, that effort is kind of expensive, right? Right. Whereas, whereas over there, I'm doing the exact same thing over there for a quarter of the price. And they tend to have better attitudes. And I'm sorry, ladies, economically speaking, the moment the moment I realized that I could go out on a date with one woman three, four times, and I'm going to spend $200 per day, which ain't that expensive anymore. $200 a day is actually cheap nowadays, right? So that's $800, $900 to date you three or four times, and we might not have sex. What did I invest in that for, with you for? Whereas for that same $900, I can take one trip, one, not a whole bunch, one trip to Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic um, stay and enjoy your company for about a week or two and come back. I had more fun that one visit in the DR for the weekend than I had trying to date you for the last month. Which one would you do? I think it's kind of self-explanatory at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just beating the dead. We just late lady, one lady. I hate to say it. I apologize for saying it, and I don't want to address y'all directly. But fellas, let's be one. The moment. The moment we started running math and men do numbers, we are very good at running numbers. The moment we started looking at the numbers, it just makes sense to get your passport. I, I think the ladies in America will have to, they literally have to find a way to drop their quote unquote price by half. And I mean half, which means buying your own food at restaurants at this point to make it worthwhile for me not to travel to Thailand or, or the Dominican Republic, especially if I have the money. I mean, God, bro, the numbers don't even add up. I can live like a king in Costa Rica for a thousand dollars. That's just four corny dates here in America. Hey, if you add some Uber rides, man, anyway, moving on. I don't want to, we're not going to get granular. But so that we're not searching for love. Duh. <laughs> I'm ter- happiness and love ain't necessarily the same thing. I'm trying to be happy. Right. <laughs> All right. The fourth, t- the fourth question or statement that I saw that I thought we should chop up is this. Now, this is insulting. Other, certain of our sisters have said that we are trying to emulate our quote unquote um white masters what yeah oh we so so what you're saying is that uh us re- af- <laughs> okay us average guys who are now going taking our passports and traveling around the world right because we have to leave now and we're traveling we spend our money to go around the world to meet women xyz we're trying to be like the our white our white counterpart executive guys the ones that is currently married, has a family, and they fly you down for the weekend to Miami, and they blow you back out in X, Y, Z, and fly you back home. 
That right there? No, I think you gave them too much credit. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Saying, my bad. We just, we just trying to emulate white white people, period. We we want to be like Martha. <sighs> meanwhile, every I culture meanwhile, every culture and everything you see in on T V is it comes it resonates from the black culture, right? I but, mean But we, we wanna like make that course, make course. sense, right? People well, dance, off, everything it's it's our, our if you take away black, black, the black culture from the world, you have not to be boring. <laughs> oh, that is. So, listen, I'm, I, this question is bigger than I think I can answer right now, but let me try to simplify it with, on this level. Go ahead. We are in, we are trying to emulate our white masters. Okay. We Here's the thing. Black men in America have never been the masters in America. Never. We... I'm going to put the slavery thing on the table and we're just going to put that out there. Boom. Slavery happened. Were we in charge? Nope. Were we running things? Nope. No, no. Okay. So when we got free from slavery, now this is the big part. This is where I don't understand how our women are saying this about us. fellas. Do the math. Think about this. When we got free from slavery in 1865, did we all of a sudden try to run out and colonize and enslave somebody? Nah. No. We just we just tried to survive. Right? We we built they they we all we asked when they let us go from slavery, they and they let us go. We didn't fight for our freedom. They they let us go. We didn't ask them, okay, how did you do what you did so I can do it to somebody else? No. We just tried to survive. When they left us alone, we built Tulsa, Oklahoma. We built Gainesville, Florida. We built LaGrange, Georgia. We built Rosewood, Florida. We built Asheville, North Carolina. We built Oscarville, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? We we moved to Chicago. We just tried to survive, right? Yes, and we and we were. And when we try, yes, go ahead. And when we tried to survive, we when we made our own towns because you know they existed. I just named a couple. Sure did. did, did we, do your homework. Do your research if you don't know what they are or where they were. Go ahead. Yeah. Did we did we try to emulate our white masters? Did we beat our women? Did we put chains around our women's neck? Did we did we make our children go out there and till the field so their hands were bleeding? We didn't do we didn't do any of that. No, not at all. And from and from eighteen sixty five to nineteen sixty, almost a full one hundred years after slavery, did we emulate our masters? Nope. I don't re- I don't recall seeing that nowhere. Right? And then from 1965 until today, do black people, have you ever seen us slap chains around somebody's neck or beat them down? Have we, have we just decided that we were superior above somebody <laughs> magically? No, so, not at all. So now, but so now that we worked hard, we go to work every day, we went to school, we did everything the greatest society, which is quote unquote, our white master said to do. Let's, let's be one in we just tried to survive. I got a, I got a little extra money, and until recently, over the last three to five years, I was content trying to deal with a black woman who has made it, who has been attacking me verbally and physically for the last sixty years. But we don't want to talk about that, do we? For the last since nineteen sixty something. The black woman has been on an attack against the black male in America. Oprah, anybody? Rolanda, anybody? Hell, Gail King, anybody? Y'all, y'all have been on our bumper, and we still was trying to be strong black men for y'all. We were still y'all. One, one out of every three black children, it has in. Had, well, one out of three children, not black. They they didn't say that. They just said. 300,000 men. We can't even have our own kids. We can't, we cannot guarantee that the child born that you telling me is my child is my child. That you, we can't even do that. Mm. But, but we're trying to emulate our master. No, we're just trying to find somebody who we could actually be with in peace. That's it. That's it. Somebody we can be with in peace. 
when I come home from work, if if it, if it's somebody who who is standing over there, who's looking, who's physically looking like a dream, I I would love for her to have dark ebony skin because I love my chocolate sister. I love dark skinned black women. That's me personally, except the dark guy. But if I come home and somebody has made me dinner, who, when I sit down, even if it's for five seconds, she just come up, walk behind me on the chair and start massaging my scalp and my shoulders and let me lean back on her chest, just just for five seconds to, to let the pressure of the world go, I want that. I don't care what color complexion she is. Because she made me feel great. That's all we ever asked for. That's all Kevin Samuels wanted us from y'all. Make us help us be you make me feel a look you make me feel like a man. You and you be my peace. I will go out every day and work till I pass out. As long as I know that I can come home and you're gonna provide some peace in this place. You can have my whole paycheck as long as you provide me some peace. And y'all, and we've been made to travel to whole other countries just to do that. You see how that worked, bro? Yeah, I, and I don't think, I don't, I believe, and I think that that's not a lot to ask for, right? To be, I, it, it, it didn't used to be. My granddaddy, my granddaddy got it. Yeah, but you know, the, father, all these my father didn't. <laughs> you're right. Listen, our grandfathers took care of kids that weren't theirs. And didn't even blink. I got, come on, I've seen both of my grandparents. <laughs> a couple of my aunts, a couple of my aunts, one one in particular, I know that ain't granddaddy baby. All right. and, and my cousin from that particular aunt, I know you ain't my granddaddy child. <laughs> but we ain't going to talk about that. Because it is what it is. Huh. So, moving on to, so I just want to reiterate, we are not trying to emulate our white masters. The point being is, you you have pushed us so far down the list that I have to go find a woman not of my culture to try to be happy because the women of my culture are toxic. That's so. Right. Moving on. Question number five. Now, this is about money. Some African American women, brothers, listen, think that we are getting foreign women at the exchange rate, meaning it's cheaper, as foreign women only want those men for the little bit of money that we give them. Hmm. That's crazy. Doesn't that sound like, I don't know, the girl up the street? Up the corner, I mean, up the street on the corner. Doesn't, doesn't that sound suspiciously like Rolanda up the street? I mean, the forty dollar thing is nothing that was just created yesterday, right? Nah. Okay, I'm just making sure. You know, forty dollars. <laughs> you have a you have a good old time. Forty dollars, bro. It it in the world. It, bruh, bruh, I mean, I, I, let's just say this, right? Right. Even now, I was told, I, this is real, This is my own story, I was told that somebody I know, in, um, rent was going up $200 a month. I, that's pretty, that's pretty steep. So, okay. Her, she told me her rent was going up $200. That's pretty steep, right? So, this what what does that mean to me? I, I'm put. I'm make, this is a scenario. This ain't m- most of these details never happen. Okay, I'm giving you a scenario. But her rent is going up two hundred dollars. So, if she asks me, "Could you help me?" What am I going to say? Uh, here you go, baby girl. Take it and run. No, I'm be like, "What's in it for me?" What, what do I get from giving you 200 additional dollars? Isn't that the exchange rate? 
Most people are led to believe that's something that we're supposed to do. As men, oh, we're well, supposed to. Well, one thing that 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 situation had to happen. I'm I'm saying she, when she told me the rent when her rent was going up two hundred dollars a month, I didn't ask her any questions because I don't want to get in her finances. I also don't want to be obligated to deal with any of her, her issues. Right. <laughs> right. She's a, she's a friend. Hey, you talking to me as a friend? But if that if that was your quote unquote shooting your shot, <laughs> you missed the rim. But <laughs> but. In my mind, I started running that scenario in my mind. And I had to come to the same conclusion once again. The young ladies in those countries, they're doing the same thing with Rolanda up the street doing. they just trying to pay their bills. The problem being, if I give, let's say, uh, give me a name, Marisol. Okay. If I give Marisol $200, that'll feed her whole family. For a couple months, maybe, as far as I know, right? If I give it to your Rolanda up the street, she'll be next, she'll be back next month. And and she not and, and she not gonna huh. get pushed Thank you. <laughs> you took the words directly out the mouth. That's where I was going oh, with sorry. it. No, no, you're good. No, you you said it because the girl <laughs> or the now she give it to gonna appreciate you and respect you. You know, even even though she may have ten dudes she's talking to, but when you pull up, she gonna make you feel like you're the only guy she knows. Exactly. Hey, no. That's all we ever asked for. We know it. We know it's only our turn. <laughs> and that's true. And that's a fact. We that's that's where men have now have been exposed to. We 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 have now out of the phase that that women are honey and nice and everything nice, whatever. Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. We kind of mm-hmm. we we, we kind of learn women like wow. I used to pitch you on this high pedestal as if like, oh, but then it's like, no, it's just my turn. Who, who, who turn is it at the time? Right. All right. Who's turn? Sorry. Mm-hmm. That's, so fellas, yes. Get your passports. Keep traveling. Be safe when you do it, but don't be shamed on what these people are trying to make you seem like they're mad because one, the money that we're spending, we're not giving to them. And plus we're traveling. Mm hmm. I mean, and truck. Listen, the vacation by itself is worth it, right? So regardless of who you meet while you're there, it's a vacation in another country. Have a good time. <laughs> and most of the time, and most of the time, let's be honest, like uh, fellas, when we do travel to these places, majority of the time we're going to all inclusive spots. I mean, there's food there and there's alcohol there, unlimited. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, it may not be the top shelf, but, hey, it's free liquor. And then if I want something additional, I can always pay for it. But the point I'm trying to make is there's exactly. not, it's free food. Well, I mean, it ain't free. You pay for it. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's free food. It's a new culture. The beach. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm like I'm like 200 miles from the beach. So I would love to be on the beach every day. Hey, enjoy the surf. and Enjoy the ocean crashing up on the waves. Enjoy looking at the horizon coming up. I mean, the sun coming up over the horizon at sunrise. It's awesome. And let's be and clear. You just happen to have a dime piece on the bed. And let's be clear. <laughs> Even when we do travel international and go to, and see those beautiful waters, their waters is really nice. It's clear water. <laughs> like you can see, <laughs> at least you know. What I mean, if you yeah. you can see where you're walking and where you're going, and you can see when it gets too dark. It's time to take your butt back. But outside of that, it's beautiful out here. You, you're not afraid to swim in the water because you you're not afraid that a shark going to pull up on you. If there's a shark, you can see mm-hmm. it coming a mile away. So, oh, let's get out, let's get out the water. But our murky, bruh. dirty water here in the United States, bruh. Yeah, bro. Because you know why? Because we throw our trash in our own water. Yeah, we. it's an aside. They said if you – I said I saw this article the other day. I think we're going to see in it. It said basically, if you eat one freshwater fish out of a lake in America, it's about the equivalent of drinking dirty water for a month. That's how that's how polluted and contaminated American waterways are. We're killing ourselves. Like, still on passport worlds. Let's move on to question number six. Right? Well, not question. Question statement. They say that the women in those other countries aren't falling in love with the passport bros. 
I say to that, so <laughs> <laughs> once again, I'm, they got if they don't fall in love with me, what's the problem? Because I've dated women in America who I spent money and time and effort with, who found a way. I don't know how they didn't find, they didn't want to do it. They didn't fall in love with the dark child. Who knew? <laughs> so what if they ain't falling in love with us? So what if they're using us for for money? Isn't that what Rolanda up the street is doing? I'm using Rolanda because why not? I mean, right? what's the, but listen to this, Seth. <laughs> listen to this, Seth the Dark Child. What is the difference between me going on a TV show to with 20 other guys trying to marry one woman? What's the difference? Exactly. I'm they, going, they, they I, thought I'm, that was I'm, cute, though. Right. AKA ladies, we're talking about The Bachelor. <laughs> a guy has a exactly. uh, hundred women chasing him, and he get to be intimate with, with most of them, you know, mm-hmm. and he, he, he mean kissing them, hugging them, whatever, until you pick one and you fall in love with him and then marry him. But it, isn't isn't that the game all of us play all the time? Yes, yes. So when you say they're not fall in love. With the passport, bros. True, just like the guy on Bachelor ain't falling in love with every woman that he meet, but he's still having a good old time before he get married. Hell, he don't need to have a bachelor party. He has it every night on national TV that we all get to watch. So by the time he get to, think about it. By the time he get to his his one that he's pick, he he tapped out. Like, right, man, I'm cool. I didn't slept with 50, 50 brand new women that I met. The show hand picked for me. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, it. And, and, and for them, and for them, they don't love it. I don't, we talked about this. How many shows have we done on this? She ain't, you know what? I've been married. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been married. I don't need your love. Does she respect me? Can, can, will she do what I need her to do when I need her to do it, the way I need her to do it, without me arguing, fussing, begging, and pleading? If she if she can give me that, I'll, I, I don't need love. I'll, I'll be happy with submission. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's you know what? That's it right there. That's, that's really the cheat code fellas. If, yeah. you, if you really want to be happy, right. Be with someone that's going to, like you said, respect you and appreciate you. Forget the whole love thing. <laughs> love comes and goes. Yeah. I mean, yep. but Listen, that respect the- part yeah. at the end of the day, regardless, whatever it may be, if she respects you, regardless whatever may happen and appreciates you, she's a keeper. Yeah, bro. It's only a handful of things on this planet that will love you. No no woman, no woman that is not your mother or your sister loves you. Your wife loves you because you are doing what you got to do to keep the family together. The moment she feels like it's in her best interest to go, she's out. Your moms will love you. Your sister will love you. Your daughter might not love you. Might not. Don't play games with a little girl. But your dog will love you. And those Indian people calling about my extended car warranty, they love me too. Because <laughs> <laughs> they damn sure call you every day. They, I'm telling you. Christmas cards and everything, they love me. Oh, that was so, so random, but I love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, they, they do. So when they say they aren't falling in love, so once again, love is love is such a cuss word. Men and women are different. We love differently. What I require from you as a woman isn't what you require from me. And as long as you keep trying to make it seem like it's equal, men lose every time we try to play that game with women. We don't, brother. Don't. We are not them. They are not us. We, when we see the world, totally different. And love sounds good, but if she respected me, if she taken care of me, if she appreciated me, it looks a heck of a lot like love to me. Right? So, I'm almost finished. Got two more. Okay. Number seven. Um... Now, this is a bad one. I saved it for worse because I don't know how if the algorithm will let me say this. But some of women of, of African descent claim that we are nothing but scum, predators, 
and some grapists, and in some cases, Tito's. Okay. <laughs> that's what, that's what, because we go to another country looking for somebody, we are, uh, somebody we can actually try to be happy with, we are scum, predators, rapists, pedos. That's what they say about it. So, Just because we try, so, go ahead. So, I, I hear you, I'm listening, I understand what you're saying, what they say. So when mm-hmm. ladies take the girl trips and they go international, so what are they consider as? I think they just consider it girl fun or something. They, girl fun. I'm, obviously, they don't consider themselves scum. They don't? Okay. But men do because, because they're assuming that's all we're doing, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we, just, we just go in there and we're, we're screwing anything that walks. I mean, we wait, do that. Wait, wait, wait. So we might be screwing everything Listen. that walks. It, it's consensual. Listen, and I get that, but I'm, okay. but I'm saying, <laughs> what's that? Di- what's the difference of of us doing it here? Us going to Vegas, or going to Miami. I'm, I'm just saying, what's bruh, the difference? Bruh. Now, admittedly, now I got to put some things in the universe. Probably what ain't safe to say, but I should say it to make it right. Go ahead. In some of those countries. In some of those countries, the age of consent might be lower than the U.S., right? Uh, I don't so, about that. I don't – well, I mean, hold on. You know what? Check this out. I'm, I'm going – before I go any further, I'm going to look up age of consent in the U.S., right? Because this – because this is important. But, but why, mm-hmm. why are you doing that? We got – Famous people here that live here in America, right? That lives here, making millions, mm-hmm. if not trillions of dollars a year. They have their own mm-hmm. islands. So, are they stay, are they, are they the same scum that you're referring to? Because they have their own island where they can just fly there and do what they want to do, right? Oh, 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 we're, not, oh we're not going to talk about that part, are we? But anyway, wait, continue. Not, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. No. But let me ask you this, right? In your mind. Because you're an American citizen. Yes, I am. You think you probably know. What, what's the age of consent in America? In America? Mm-hmm. I mean, 18. In America. I'm, I'm no, going I'm, I'm, I'm go with 18. No, it's not. Different states, different rules. Wow. Let me show you. What was that? You remember when R. Kelly got in, got in trouble with that girl years ago? Yeah. How old was she supposed to be? I don't know. Was he 16, 14? I don't know. 14. But you know what? Had R. Kelly did that same thing with a girl in Maine or Maryland, you would have never heard nothing about it. Oh, wow. Guess what the age of, guess what the age of consent is in Arkansas, Hawaii, Indiana, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Missouri, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, South Carolina. That's what the age of consent is in those states. Uh, I'm going to assume 13, 14? 14. 14. But you, for a four, so you telling me a 14, a 14 year old girl could have to have done something with R. Kelly in any one of those states, it, it would not even made the news. It was totally legal. Wow. But, oh, but you might be shocked to realize that's not the youngest age. That's not. Let's say that you were, no. <laughs> Let's say that you happen to be somewhere like, I don't know, Connecticut or Minnesota or New Hampshire or New Jersey or New Mexico or or Ohio or oh. Pennsylvania or what? Tennessee. What? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, 13. Right? You said, See, what, they, it sounds, the, huh? What's the number? What's the number? 13, what, 13 years old. Oh my goodness! So it sounds good to say you are quote unquote a predator, um, a pedo. Uh, you're st- the point is in in America in certain states at thirteen you can make your own decision at thirteen. See that's just an attack that they they throw at black men. That's that's just an attack they throw at black men. She at at thirteen years old she can make her own decision. And a whole bunch of states in the United States of America, bro. Now, in Georgia, 
which is where I'm at, the age of consent in Georgia is 16. Mm-hmm. 16. That's still young. It is. And I don't, know, I don't know who point. made these rules. Well, the point, no. You got to you gotta understand historical fact. You know what the age of consent used to be back in the ancient days? And I said ancient, like a couple hundred years ago. The moment she started her cycle, she was grown. Wow. I'm not well, saying I mean, right. God, God in heaven, though, I'm not saying that's right. No. I'm saying that's right. right. I mean, and, and if you're an actual Bible scholar, you understand that concept. Is it? So exactly, we ain't got to go down that. So, we don't have to really go down that road, but I, just, I, I appreciate the facts, and we know we're going. So, ladies, what he's saying is that, <laughs> what's the difference with me going mm-hmm. over there and staying here? Really, there's not. Exactly. Really, there's not. And and that that's the reason I threw that out there without any without any disclaimer, right? right. Because a lot of us are thinking eighteen is the age. I would never ever even contemplate something with I wouldn't even contemplate something with someone less than twenty one. Facts. Facts. You know, ugh, ugh. you know, even twenty one seems like it's a baby to me. I'm I'm an old dude now. But the but the math, the you can't get on T V and start calling people names that ain't con- when it's not consistent with law. If I was in if I was in Arkansas I, I could be walking around straight up with a 15-year-old girl talking about she my wife. And you can't say nothing. She's 15. But I, but it, but at the same time, if I travel with that same little girl from Arkansas to to Kentucky, I might get locked up. <laughs> oh, so you got to say, okay, I mean, not that I'm learning or want to learn, but <laughs> we, we, we're learning on the fly yeah. as well. But So the states that you refer to is consensual, but you got to stay in those states. Because if you travel somewhere, I, I mean, I would, I would, I, the reason I never even knew or even thought about this because I'm never going to do no crap like that. Of course not. Right. <laughs> Me neither. So, right. I mean, I guess, but if they're yeah, married, so, I guess if they're married, married and they got a document, you really can't say nothing. But if it's going to look hella weird seeing a grown ass man and he kissing on a little girl or vice versa, because let's be clear, it goes both ways too. It's, it's not a law just for men. It's for boys too. If a yeah. young boy, thirteen years old, want to be like, I want to be with this forty-year-old woman. I love her. No one's going bad eye. Nobody's going bad eye. I'm right. Not, but <laughs> well, I'm just saying. So, so when they be like, "Oh, we going over there? We scum? We predators?" I'm like, "Lady, you, I could do most of this junk in Tennessee, in Arkansas, in Alabama, but that they can throw. The worst part about it is that." This ain't a secret, but it's just the laws in America. This is the states in America, right? Right. When they put these young ladies on Fox News to say this about black men, I I didn't see passport bros. I didn't see you pulling out white men, Asian men, Hispanic men, because these laws on the book, they, it ain't no racial lines on this, bro. This is this is simply the law. They didn't say black guys can't do it if she's younger than 18, but white guys can do it at 13. They said none of that. These are the laws in the city, in the state. We just respect 18, but ain't nobody going to jail for statutory in certain places. When last time you ever heard of some junk like that? If she over 30, if she, if she can, what? Look, I heard this said a long time ago, and I, I'm only going to repeat it, but this is not my line. I heard it. If it has hair, then it's fair. That's what I heard. I didn't and I didn't understand what that meant until I started doing this little research right here. If it has hair, then it's fair. That's for pretty much the whole world. But why we got to be labeled some scum and predators. Anyway, that that makes me mad. Right, right because we're all being thrown in, in that same category, but <laughs> but exactly. it's, it's it's all the shaming tactic. That's all it is. It need to be right. That's all it is. That's all it is. Shaming tactic. You know. So, but that's it. Who, who? With, the worst part about it is that the women who are throwing this. I went to high school. I I had friends in high school who were dating dudes who was grown. They, they were coming. They would they would literally get off the school bus, walk into the building. And then walk back out the building and get in the car and drive off. You wouldn't see them again to the end of the school day. 
Where you been? I've been with my boyfriend. Your boyfriend's grown. He got a car. He's driving. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and that was thirty. I mean, that was thirty years ago. I, I can't even imagine what the game looked like today. It's, it's still the same. It's still the same. What's the seven, you know what what's, what's the what's the next point? I think we just went up long enough. Fair enough. I just want to say that 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 frustrates me the most. Making they they love make I mean, one more topic. They, thing they love making black men look like we some kind of creatures or monsters, and we're not. We don't deserve that. And it ain't even the people of a lighter complexion, our our lighter skin brethren and sisters. They don't. They're not saying it. It's our American sisters who are throwing these grenades. That's what really bite my grip. Or grind <laughs> your gears. Yeah. I, I, so the last one I just want to point out was this is from now this is from other beta males. These beta <laughs> <laughs> this the way you said beta. that. <laughs> yeah. They, the yes they men. said Pat yeah, they said passport bros are weak. They're claiming that we just a group of guys with no game or swag. And I say unto that, I ain't this. <laughs> I don't have any game and I ain't got no swag. Why should I? Why should I? Why do I need game or swag? Twins, tell me this. Okay. You have a house, you have a car, you have a decent job. You look relatively good. This is no homo. You look relatively good. You're in relatively decent shape, right? right. You're relatively intelligent. Shouldn't you, shouldn't you be able to get, shouldn't you, you sound like a relatively decent guy. Is that correct? Correct. Shouldn't you, as a relatively decent guy, be able to find a relatively decent woman Without any game, I, I correct. Without the swag, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I should be a straight nerdy, but got my stuff together. But mm-hmm. it shouldn't be hard for me to pick and choose. But yes, yes, I agree. Correct. I mean, I, I mean honestly, I don't. Not me personally, like I say, relatively good job, relatively good health, relatively look decent, relatively funny, relatively relatively intelligent. I don't have any criminal record. I don't like going to the club. I don't. I don't walk around with a gun in my waistband. I'm a relatively decent person. I do not expect Rihanna to jump out of an airplane in a parachute <laughs> and land on the street beside me and marry me. I don't expect Beyonce to be at her concert and be like, "Everybody, stop! I want to call out Seth the Dark Child as the man I love." I don't expect that. <laughs> I do expect to be able to find. An average woman who's a five or a six on a scale of one to ten, who doesn't mind living in a regular suburb neighborhood and drive a, a Camry or a Nissan because we we don't need BMWs and Maxima. I mean BMWs and Lexuses, right? Mm-hmm. We would like to have it, but she she will be happy with her her Maxima or Camry, right? right. She would think. I don't. My kids. My kids might not get into Harvard. Uh, I might not be able to afford to put them in Harvard, but I could probably afford them to go to Georgia State. You know, my kid is not the top of the honor roll kid, but he is not an idiot. You know, I'll, I'll take a I'll take a B student. I would love more, but a B is average, right? Well, C is average. B is actually above average. Why can't? Why do I need gain? Why? Why do I have to put in all this work to get an average woman when I can go over there to their country with a passport? What they consider? Wait, how, hold on. Let me correct something, bro. Digest this part, right? All the all the ten and nine and eight in their country already married. So what you see on the passport bros videos and online talking to me, those are the women who are average. That's average for their country because the above average women already gone. You feel that? 
the leftovers. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. But have you, no, they are leftovers, but have you seen their leftovers? Their leftovers are so far above our dime pieces that it's not even a fair fight. Think about that map when we start talking about we ain't got no game. I can go over there with no game and get an average woman over there and she come back over here and all the dime pieces over here will want to fight her at the grocery store. Message. I should, at one point, you don't need game. You're a 35-year-old man doesn't need game. You need to have accomplished something with your life. You need to have gotten somewhere with your life. And that game that's your story. What do you do for a living? I work and take care of my my responsibilities and I have a little extra money to play with. Them girls over there like, ooh, that's nice. So do you have anybody to rub your shoulders at night? No, I don't. Oh. And if I rub your shoulders, will you will you take care of me? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Oh, well she okay, sign me up. That's your game right there. <laughs> Not too much, but simple to the point. I mean, right. What else you want? Do you want her to pay your bills? No. You want her to? You want to drive her car? No. You want to? You want to? I don't know. Uh, use use her credit? No, I got my own credit. I got my own car. I pay my own bills. I make enough to take care of another human being, and as long as she can appreciate it, I'll be happy with her. That's all we asking. And we want to be happy. We can't be. I offered it to Rolanda. She turned it down. I offered it to Marisol. Marisol said, yes. What am I going to do? I'm going to take Marisol. So that's it. Why, why, why don't they want us to be happy? That's the worst question in America. Why, why, why does everybody want black American men to be unhappy? Why do they want us to settle for what we got instead of trying to actually be happy with what we could get? Just like they've been doing for the last since Stella got her groove back. Message. That's all I got. I mean, I could I could keep going, but I think we beat this this particular cow up and down the street a couple of times already. Yeah. Once again, fellas, fellas, this is for you, fellas. Continue doing what you're doing. <laughs> Continue to stay on your grind. Continue to enjoy your life. Don't let the social media and people tell you what you can and can't do or try to shame you for living your best life. If you're not hurting nobody, keep doing what you do. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just that simple. Don't let don't let people dictate how you should handle, live your life. Everyone chose their life a certain way and they're living it a certain way. But if you have the means to be a passport bro, enjoy. Kudos. I wish I thought about this early in my early 20s. You know what I'm saying? Passport. Hey, mm-hmm. traveling. I mean, once again, we, we outlined it. It's not always about the sex. But if the sex falls in, you know, if, it, if it's there, we'll take it. But it, it's, travel the world. That's like, that's the main thing. Let's talk about that right there. You're going places that you normally don't go. Like most guys, we don't really care about traveling. We don't like. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I need to go. I need to go to Mexico. I need to go to Brazil. I need to go to like. No, I mean we know about them places, but it's not something that it's not on my bucket list. I don't have a bucket list of work, a bucket list as far as out of the country places I like to go. Would I go to them? Maybe yeah, but it's not a must, right? But most exactly. men, most men, we don't see when people travel. Okay, let me say what it is. When ladies travel to your places. They like to brag about where they've been, right? That's what it comes down to. It guys, I'm like, okay, it's just another place, another place where I go. I got to spend money. <laughs> That's how we look at it. Mm-hmm. That, you know, most, most, it, it, of t- most of the time, you know, we 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 pay the bill for that stuff. So, yeah, it's cool. But if what Seth well, said earlier, if you're not being appreciated and respected for it, yeah, you don't want to feel like doing it. Like, why do I want to travel with you when? Next two minutes, you're going to be cussing me out or you don't appreciate what I've sacrificed so we all can go on this trip, right? So anyway, exactly. so with that being said, <laughs> we'd be, we'd be the travel is cool. Fellas, do what you got to do. 
Seth, Anthony, you want to close out before we get up out of here, sir? No, no. I think I think I, I once again, if we want to revisit this, this is just a random list. So you want you want some other topics? You want some other points to, to chop up? We can revisit this again. They they got a lot of reasons they don't like us to travel. This is just a few a handful I picked out. Listen, so, uh, for the listeners out there that's listening now, later on, YouTube, the, um, Spotify, iHeart, you know, the podcast realm. If you want us to sur- spin the block on this conversation, please leave a comment on whatever platform that it may be on, because I will get the notification as far as whatever you may say. If you want us to continue with this conversation and you want to send an send email in, reply to a message and well, what y'all guys think about this? We will go. We matter of fact, we can have a, a show one day where we go through all the questions that have been posted on certain videos, topics that we had throughout the history of the Chop Team because we've been doing this for about three years, three years going on four now. So we have plenty of content out there. So if there's some of the video that you heard us talk about or something you want us to chop up, feel free to let us know. You can always slide in our DMs on the Chop Team on Gmail. Uh, mm-hmm. The Chat Team on Instagram, Seth the Dark Child on Instagram, Twins Inc. on Instagram. We are, we out there, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't nothing new. So outside of that, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Seth, anything you want to say, brother? Hey, hey, brother, Passport Bro. They don't want you to be happy. But at this point, we pass the point of care what they want. Go be great, brother. Go be great. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Peace.